Welcome everybody, Film Fan 108 here. Now, usually I'm showing you guys a movie review that I do with the rest of the guys or some other thing that's going on with me usually talking about movies. However, uh, right now all the guys are sick. They are literally sick right now. They're fighting colds. They're they're really like deathly ill and I'm not getting even close to them guys because I just got over a cold that's not happening so I wish them the best I hope they're gonna get well and no movie reviews this weekend guys so maybe next weekend but no movie reviews at all so apologize for that but I was thinking to myself I said what else can I do for a video for you guys and I thought about it. I said, you guys have seen a lot of my apartment over the course of a lot of videos that I've done. But you've never seen something that I have that I don't put on any of the walls in my apartment. Mainly because, well, quite frankly, you know, it's an apartment and I don't want to scuff up the walls too bad. Because, you know, whenever I leave this place, I am going to probably have to pay money and I don't want to do that. So, I decided to myself, I said, I'm just going to, you know, just keep them rolled up and maybe down the line I'll put them up wherever I go next. And that is my movie posters, guys. I have a shit ton of movie posters. I have a crap ton of them. I collect them. I love movie posters so much. They're some of the most favorite things I love to own. And I have a crap ton of them. So I said to myself, how about I show you guys my movie poster collection? And I have a lot of wonderful movie posters to show. So yes, this video is going to be all about showing off the movie posters, showing off all of the really great art from some of these things, some home video posters, some theatrical posters, some really cool stuff. So definitely join me as I show you guys my movie poster collection. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started and show off what I got, guys. All right, guys. We are here starting in this pile. And these are the posters that I have framed so far. Sometimes framing posters get really expensive. And so I try to get a little bit cheaper of frames. Um, sometimes I've gotten ones that are a little bit less pricey. But I'm trying to slowly end up actually uh framing all of the posters that i own but it's a slow process because again some of them need more custom framing because of the size issues that i have with them but some of these ones i have framed already and the ones over here i have the guardians of the galaxy inferno poster right here that i framed this actually came with the blu-ray and the 4k of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, this poster with all of the the members here and David Hasselhoff. It, I, you know what? I love this poster and I, re, and I just decided to frame it. And I decided to frame it in this almost like weird pink frame right here that really went really well with the, with the poster art. I don't know. It's some, it kind of works because I was asking the guy, I said, what kind of frame should I use? And he's like, yeah, hey, use the, the pink, because the pink looks really cool. And I was like, oh, okay, sure. So, yeah, this one's framed. I really like this poster. It's one of the reasons why I framed it. But, uh, yeah, man, I really do dig this poster a lot, especially if you're a David Hasselhoff fan, which, well, I kind of am. So, so, yeah, that's a really cool poster right there that I have. And I also have over here a Killer Rack. Now, if you guys have not ever seen Killer Rack, it is a horror comedy. Well, you kind of guessed it. It's about killer boobs. <laughs> but um, it's a great, great horror comedy. I really like it a lot. Directed by Greg Lamberson, who I am friends with. Um, a really creative, really cool guy. And I ended up getting this poster. I supported his uh, campaign. I believe it was on kickstarter uh kickstarter for the um to help distribute the film bring it into uh um festivals across the country and i ended up getting this poster and this is an original like mini poster very cool here and as you can see i got this signed by a bunch of people 
I got assigned by some of the actors. I got assigned by Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd is actually in the movie. I, I had him sign it. Um, uh, Greg Lamberson, the director, signed it. Also, the special makeup effects person signed this as well. He was talking to me about uh, about the movie. And also, he was kind of commenting because I was at the horror convention that I go to. And he actually was sc uh, screening the movie, and I saw the movie with Bob. We enjoyed the movie all all to hell. We just had a great fun time watching the movie. And the special makeup effects guy was right next to me. He was right next to me during the screening, and he was he was um, like, whenever the boobs came on, he was like, "Dude, those are prosthetic boobs." That was all me, but that was all me, bro. And I was just like, what? And he was just like commenting during the movie. It was one of the best experiences, man. I, I really loved watching this movie. I own it on DVD. Very, very cool movie. And it's a cool, very cool poster. I really do enjoy it a lot, a lot here. Very, very cool. Love this poster a ton. And as you can see, signed by a lot of people. And definitely would like this more signed by more of the cast and crew because... I really do love the movie. Very, very cool flick right there. Killer Rack. Then, over here, I ended up buying this this um, one for Basket Case. And actually, what this is, guys, this is actually the UK poster for Basket Case. Um, this is the actual poster that they used for the promotion of Basket Case and everything. And I love this poster so much better than the actual uh, US one. As you can see here, you've got, like, um, the brothers right there and Belial in the basket and, and New York City in the background and everything. Very, very cool. I really love this poster, and I really wanted this. And so getting the UK poster, this is one of my favorite horror films of all time, Basket Case. Really, really great. I fucking love this movie, and the poster art is, is awesome here. So happy. I love this poster art so much, and this was a must-own. I got this through eBay, and I was really, really happy. This is a great, great one man basket case i love this poster then over here oh i have victor crowley now the adam green dismember america tour 2017 here with this really killer art man now uh the movie victor crowley came to one of the theaters in my area and Adam Green came to actually talk about the movie and do a Q&A afterwards. And, and um, he was selling a few things. And what he was selling was he was selling these original prints of his art that he was going around the, the country touring with as he was doing with the movie. And I was like, I got to buy this, man. I love this art. This is a really cool art. It's basically got Victor Crowley right here, basically holding Adam Green's head and all of the blood and everything just spewing all over the place. Really cool, man. This is one of my favorite posters that I own. Uh, again, the Dismember America Tour 2017. I was really happy to own this sucker. And as you can see, he also ended up signing it as well, uh, which was really cool. Like I said, man, Adam Green is such a really awesome, cool fucking dude. One of one of the greatest people I got to meet. Really down-to-earth, dude. And this is a great, great poster, man. I really love this poster a lot. Yeah, hopefully down the line I'll get to meet um, Kane Hodder again and have him sign this. And a few other people that were in the movie. This is a really, really great poster, man. I can't wait to get this signed more. Really, really awesome. And then over here I have this government issue zombie survival poster i got this so long ago like years and years back guys and i love this poster so much it's got like zombie traits and survival skills right here how to kill a zombie um and it's got pictures of like examples on how to like kill zombies or what not to do very, very cool stuff here. I love this poster. This is one of my favorite posters that I own, really. I, I, I'm, I'm saying that about a lot of them, but it really is true, man. I love this poster so goddamn much. I This is one of the posters that like is a must, must have for me. And it's one that, out of all the posters that I own, this is one that I would love to frame and put up on one of the walls the most. I just was really, really in love with this poster. It's really such a fantastic poster. I love this so much. Like I said, this is like the one I would put on my wall out of all of them. 
just instantly. Just this tells you almost anything about me, how much I love zombies, how much I love horror movies, and just a great fucking poster. Love this poster so much, guys. Really, really fantastic. And then the other thing I have framed over here is I have framed the Jaws poster. Now, the only unfortunate thing about this poster, guys, is that it's not an original. It's a reproduction, which really sucks because I really would love an original. But I have a feeling like the original would be like incredible amount of money. It would just be way too much. And I just honestly, dude, probably could not afford it. But I love this poster so much. This this artwork is some of the best artwork in movies regardless. I love the shark coming up with the with the chick swimming naked. Really fantastic artwork. I love that, man. This is a favorite movie of mine. I love this movie so goddamn much. It's it's great here. This is a great movie poster. Just wish it was an original, but I'll take the reproduction. This was such a fantastic movie, guys. Really, really well done. And, yeah, that does it for all of the framed posters that I have, guys. Um, I have a few framed posters, certainly not as much as I would like. But, yeah, that's the ones that are framed at least so far. But there is so much more stuff to be framed and so much more to show off, guys. So, let me show it off. Let's head to the ones that are not framed. All right, guys, and the next poster to show off here, and I got to hold it up with some of the coffee cups because I just, I got to, like, put it all out there. It's going to, like, you know, yeah, it's going to start to just fold back up if I don't do that, is a mini Scream Queen poster on my Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, this is the Mark Patton documentary, I met Mark Patton at one of the horror conventions. Of course, he's the male star of Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. And one really awesome guy. This guy is probably one of the nicest dudes that you'll ever get to meet. Really open, honest, loves talking about the movie, loves talking about the fans. Really great guy. And I had him sign a lot of really great stuff, you know, the, the DVD and all that stuff. And he also gave me this mini poster for free. I didn't ask him to give it to me. He just gave it to me for free. And he even signed it. Uh, of course, my name and, and his name as well. And I love the art on this. Him with, with Freddy's arm over him and the Scream Queen stuff. And really, really cool poster here, guys. And I haven't actually checked out the documentary yet. I really want to. But just based off him alone as just a guy to talk to, and he seems like a really warm actor, I would definitely be up for chatting with this guy again and also watching the film. I really do want to check it out, guys. But this is a really great mini poster. Again, I got this completely for free. Did not have to pay for it at all. This one is a really cool poster, guys. All right, guys, and the next poster here to show off is actually one that my girlfriend actually got me for... I believe she got it for me for my birthday last year, if I'm not mistaken. And it's one of those sort of art poster prints that has Michael Myers in it, Chucky, Jason, uh, the guy from Scream who's apparently got a complete knife in his fucking head, and uh, Freddy, and they're just playing card games, they're drinking, they're having a good time. It's actually a really cool poster. I like this one a lot, guys. And it's one that I really think is a really cool, very just interesting poster. You have, you know, the, 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 the pumpkin with the knife in it. You have, you know, you have the, the chainsaw there, the head. All this, all this really great little nuanced art in it, which is really cool. I really like this one a lot. It's, it's a little scuffed up, uh on this side and I think it had to do with the with the way it was packaged unfortunately it's not a game changer I don't I don't hate it because it's that way it's not an original art or anything it's just one of those you know prints that my girlfriend thought I would like I really enjoy this one this one is actually really cool I at one point I've definitely got to frame this but it's it's one that is really cool and you know my girlfriend knows how much I love horror movies so this is very, very cool. I really like this poster a lot. All right, and the next poster to check out 
is actually this Riddick poster, which was actually an IMAX poster specifically designed for the movie Riddick that came out when you ended up going to see it in IMAX. Now, I actually did not get to see Riddick in IMAX, but my friend Ron actually saw this movie in IMAX, and he got one of the posters for free, and he ended up basically not really wanting the poster he knew how much i really like the character of riddick and he was like hey man you want to take it off my hands go ahead and do it uh, you know hey it's all yours and i was like hey man I'll, I'll, I'll take it i love this stuff and so this is i don't know how limited this was i don't know if it's limited to a certain small amount or whatnot but, yeah, I'm very lucky to to have this. I really love the character of Riddick. And, by the way, I really love the movie. I think the movie's really cool here. And you've got, basically, Vin Diesel there as Riddick. Uh, the dog, the, the alien dog from the movie is in here as well. The sort of dark green background in it as well. I, I really, really like this poster a lot. It's really cool, very unique art. I really like this one quite a bit. Um, it's nothing major or anything. I don't have a sign by anybody. I'm hoping maybe one day if I ever meet Vin Diesel or some of these people from the movie, I'll have it signed because I really love them to sign this. But, yeah, it's just a really cool art that I really love. And, yeah, I really dig it. And I was glad to get it for free. The next poster to show off here, guys, is actually a mini poster that I got from Greg Lamberson, who also directs this movie, Slime City Massacre, right here, and a really cool poster, man. I really love the art on this. So very cool, man. I love the design of this thing. So really awesome, man. It's it's a really cool mini poster, and the movie is actually really cool too. Like I said, directed by Gregory Lamberson, and it reminds me of a movie like Street Trash. Like the movie has that kind of feel. Um, it's kind of a horror comedy, really interesting, low budget movie, but actually really cool effects here. I really like the movie a lot, really kick ass here. And as you can see, it is signed as well. I believe this is signed by Debbie Rashawn, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it is. Debbie Rashawn is in this movie as well. Of course, if you, um, know anything about her, she's actually a independent actress, has done a lot of cult movies and everything. Really cool chick. Uh, yes, this is a really cool art as well. I really like this this one as well. And again, I got it for free, so hey man, I can't complain. On to the next, and that is none other than Dead Air, the mini poster of this movie. Now this one stars Bill Mosley and Patricia Tallman, directed by Corbin Burnson, and it's this sort of zombie horror film. I actually really enjoyed the movie. I actually really like it a lot. And when I got the DVD, it came with this poster. Now, this poster is actually um, only a very limited, only to a thousand posters. I don't know if it's completely sold out or not. I'm assuming it is, but I'm not quite sure. I actually got it signed by Corbin Burnson. And it's got, my copy is 108 out of a thousand so that's very cool as well. And I also met Bill Mosley at a horror convention a year or two back. And I had him sign this movie. I had him put his signature on this as well. And he was talking to me about the movie. And he said how much he really loves this movie. And how much he thinks this movie is really underrated. And I actually agree with him. I really like this movie a lot. And I don't think it's a one that... A lot of people really talk about, but I think they should. I actually really do enjoy this one a lot. It's a small little zombie movie. It's nothing crazy or big, but I happen to enjoy it, and I really like Bill Mosley's performance in it. And so, yeah, I'm happy to have it, and happy to have it signed by the director and one of the stars. Very, very cool here, guys. Date, mate, reanimate. Yes, guys, this is the poster for... Bride of Reanimator right here, and this is an original home video poster, as you can see right here, it has the 
live home video logo right there. This is an original. This is not a reprint. And this is really, really cool. I got this at a horror convention probably about a few years ago. Um, somebody was selling the poster, and at the time, I offered them $20, and they were like, no, no, we're, we're not selling it for $20, and it's kind of one of those things where you go the rest of the day at the convention, and at the end of the day, I talked to Bob, and I said, you know what, let's go back to that booth, and let's see if the poster is still there, and it was and this was on a saturday night and usually on sunday people are just trying to get rid of stuff they lower prices and on saturday night i said hey i'll still offer you twenty dollars if you want it and you know they're they're like oh sure fine fine we'll take it i think they realize that sunday is sort of like a fire sale and might as well get rid of it on Saturday night. So that's what they did. So I got this original Bride of Reanimator poster for twenty dollars. It's it looks great. There's a little bit of damage to the poster, a little bit. I'll kind of show you guys if I can kind of move over here a little bit. There's kind of a little bit of um, a sort of a, a tore or I should say a tear right there. There's a tear right there and a couple other sort of wear and tears on the actual like poster itself. But beyond that though, it's actually a really great poster. Pretty well done. And for 20 bucks, I'm not complaining guys. Very cool poster here. And again, really cool movie. I think it's probably, out of all of the reanimator movies, probably you know, it's it's better than that than the third film. Can't beat the the first one. First one's classic, but I do really like it though. Still a pretty decent film and a very great poster. And the next poster, guys, is this Nightbreed poster right here. Yes, an original Nightbreed poster. And when I say original, this is an original night breed poster it is actually a home video poster as you can see right here distributed by media home entertainment available august 8th 1990 yes this is an original right here and i love this poster so much i'm a huge huge fan of night breed i think it's a really underrated movie i love this movie so much so damn wonderful um, a really great Clive Barker movie, so well done here, and I love the poster here with Craig Schaefer and all of the the creatures and the people of Nightbreed right there. Love that so much, man. And at one of the horror conventions, I actually got Doug Bradley to sign this poster. Uh, to Seth, the tribes of the moon embrace you. Very, very cool here. I I really love this, and he was kind of surprised that I actually had this poster. This is another one that I picked up at one of the horror conventions for $20, guys. An original home video poster for $20. You cannot beat that. Yeah, like I said, it's a little scuffed up. It's a little, like, has some wear and tear to it. I'll kind of show you a couple things here. Yeah, a little worn on certain areas of the poster, but I'm going to tell you guys, though, I do not care. This is well worth it. And again, for $20, I can't complain. And there is something interesting on the reverse side of this poster, guys. So, guys, on the flip side of this poster, there is actually instructions and facts about the movie for the home video release. If you guys can kind of look at that here, some really interesting stuff right, right here. I have never seen this stuff on the back of a poster before, but it is stuff, again, for the home video release. A pay-per-view window of 30 days, a cable window of six months. You have in-store promotions. Hold a Come as Your Favorite Creature of the Night contest and award a free rental of the most frightfully dressed. Glow in the dark, frisbees made up. Um, order date, July 24th, 1990. Street date, again, of August 8th. Um, you have suggested retail price of the movie at $89.98, which is crazy. Um, the price may be slightly higher in Canada. Uh, you also have the price guarantee, no price reduction for 
nine months. Yeah, very interesting sort of facts in the on the back of this poster. And I was kind of fascinated to find out that there was this on the back of it. It's really, really cool. I definitely got to frame this at some point, but it's kind of tough because I want people to see the backside of it too, which is really kind of cool little factoid from back in the day. Really cool stuff here, man. I really love this poster so much. All right, guys, another poster to show off here, and that is Return to Newcomb High Volume 1 poster that I got at a screening of this movie that came to a local theater of ours in the area. Ron and I went to the screening, and uh, Lloyd Kaufman was there, among with a couple of the actors from the movie, and they did a Q&A afterwards, and... Man, really cool movie, very weird, bizarre, but absolutely, completely trauma. I love trauma movies so much. And they were giving this poster away, and the only question that they had was how many movies in the Nukem High franchise are there? And everybody was scratching their head, they're like, uh, wait, what? And I raised my hand as quick as I goddamn could and said, oh, five, five, there's five Nukem High movies. And they're like, yeah, you, you over there. And I, I won it. And it's such a great poster, man. The art here is really, really cool. I really love the art on this sucker a lot. Very, very awesome here. Yeah, really cool. Some of the best art. And I have a few people who signed this. Lloyd Kaufman over here signed it. Really cool guy. Uh, Lloyd Kaufman signed this. Of course, you also have some of the actors who signed this as well. And over down here, um, thanks, thanks for coming. Cretans for Life, one of the actors signed it. Another actor as well. There's, there's a bunch of really cool autographs that I got on this. And again, man, I really do really dig the movie and really dig Troma a lot. I have, uh, contributed to the Kickstarter campaign for Return to Nukem High Volume 2. Um, I also ordered the poster along with the Blu-ray, so hopefully sometime this year I will be getting that in the mail and able to show you guys it. But yes, I am really happy to have this poster in my possession. An original uh, theatrical poster for this movie. Very, very awesome. And yes, uh, hopefully one day it will be framed and up on the wall. All right, guys, on to the next poster, and that is this beautiful art for the poster of Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge right here. And I've always really loved this art with the guy and him holding the girl and looking in the mirror and with his messed up face there and, and the Freddy glove. Very, very cool art there. I've always loved it. And... By the way, guys, just to let you know, this is a an original theatrical poster. I kid you not. I got this for $25. It's a gorgeous poster in pretty decent shape, minus a few scuffs here and there, but very, very good quality for the most part. And here's the thing. So I was at a horror convention with my friends, John, Bob, Van, and it was a Saturday night. I already met Mark Patton. I was on a high, loved talking to the guy, and we were at this booth, and I noticed they had this poster, and I was like, what is this poster? And it was for Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge. And I asked the guy about it, and I was like, oh, hey, is this an original poster? And he's like, yeah, it's an original poster, and we're selling it for $40. So I was like, oh, God, $40. I, I, and I don't know. That's just my bargaining thing, guys. I just don't really want to pay the exact price. So I was like, what about 35 And he's like, no, no, no. And, you know, and so I was like, nah, thank you. I appreciate it. And so we were looking around, and we ended up going to other booths and looking around before we left. And I said, God, do you guys mind if we go back to this booth again? And they're like, sure, fine, we'll, we'll go back. And what ended up happening was is that the guy said, I'll give it to you for 35 And I said, well, what about 25 I went down even more because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try to ha haggle this guy. That's just kind of how I am. And he's hemming and hawing and ah, back and forth. And he's finally, ah, fine. Again, it's a Saturday night thing. 
towards the end of the convention, you know, you know tomorrow's going to be the fire sale. So he's like, fine, I'll give it to you for 25 So I took it. And then my friends are like, well, geez, Mark Patton's still here. Have Mark Patton sign it. And I'm like, ah, oh, man, you, 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 you think so? You think he'll, so? yeah, man, go, go. It's almost the, the end of the day. He's still here, man. Have him sign it. And I did, and he and he was wowed the fact that the theatrical poster was here, the fact that I paid the amount for it. We opened that sucker up, and he signed it. He's inside me, <laughs> Mark Patton, uh, the the character name, very cool. Mark Patton was a joy to talk to. We love seeing this poster again, and he just gave me a little insight into the poster real quick. He talked about how him and the actor is right here. They had to stand in a certain pose, this pose right here, for literally hours while the artist was painting and crafting the art for, for this theatrical poster right here. It was very fascinating. He talked about how much of a pain in the ass it was, but it came out really well. The poster looks incredible, and, and yes, um, I am so, so proud to own this. An original theatrical print of this poster, man. One of my favorite in the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. I love this. And it's even more better the fact that Mark Patton himself signed it. So happy that I got to own this. So happy he signed it. A very, very great poster, guys. I love this art so damn much. Alright, guys. On to more movie posters here with... The theatrical home video poster for Mannequin 2 on the move. As you can see, the live home video logo right there from, let's see, 1991. God damn, man. And I got this in the mail with a couple other posters that I'll show you guys in a few minutes. And there was this guy who sort of is selling through Facebook and eBay. Really nice guy, easy to talk to. And... Um, we made this deal for all three posters, and it was a fair, reasonable price. I do like this movie. It's it's a very basic comedy, your basic comedy sequel. It's not really wonderful, but I really do like Mannequin and Mannequin 2, cheesy as shit as they may be. I really love this, and I love Christy Swanson in it. She's great. And the art here is really cool. I, I like the art here very much like just showing off. The guy and Christie's Christy Swanson there with with Hollywood and everything. Yeah, again, it's not a really a great movie. It's an okay comedy sequel, but I love the cheesy comedies. Uh, what can I tell you guys? But the other thing with the poster is it's a little messed up as far as like tears are concerned. There's a tear right here. There's also another tear I'll kind of show show you guys where the tear is over here. As you guys can see right here there there's a huge huge giant tear right there that 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 it, it came came with also a tear right on the side over here and some wear and tear and some scuff. There is a few but again, you know, this is a this is a poster that I'm not going to sell guys. It's one that I'm going to keep for for myself and once I frame it, I feel like this this stuff you're really not going to see too much, but I happen to really enjoy this poster. I like it very out there for a very conventional sort of weird sequel to a movie that probably shouldn't have never needed a sequel anyways, but I enjoy it. It's not not a bad poster and not a bad movie. And on to the next poster in this three movie poster a lot that I picked up from this guy off of eBay. And this movie that I've never heard of, Brotherhood of Justice with Keanu Reeves and Kiefer Sutherland. By the way, a young Keanu Reeves at that, co-starring Billy Zane. I have never heard of this movie before. I have never watched it. One of the reasons why I wanted this poster was because it just looked really interesting to me. And and just seeing how goddamn young Keanu Reeves is in this, it just kind of intrigued me of a movie I had never heard of. And I was like, this looks like a poster I want to own. And I just ended up just asking the guy if I can have it as part of the three posters. And he was cool with it. Again, it's it's an interesting, it looks like an interesting movie here. In this town, if you deal or steal, you die. That's a promise. From the Brotherhood. <laughs> Very interesting movie here. 
from Vidmark Entertainment, and it's got this other um, thing that's taped on here in store July 24th here. And, the, and it's a poster that's not really in the best of condition, unfortunately. It's very sort of marked up, and it's got tape all around it as, as it's tried to kind of like, I guess maybe they were trying to uh, keep, keep it from tearing anymore or something. Back in the day, they were trying to more more stuff, um, uh, more like tape right here as well, and a few other sort of in instances of more tape. Yeah, some, some wear and tear here. But again, this is a poster that I'm not really going to sell. Guys, I'm not going to sell. This is an interesting poster that I've got to eventually one day watch the movie. Let me know if you guys have ever seen this. Is it worth it? Like, like, like I said, I love Keanu Reeves and Kiefer Sutherland, so this was sort of a no-brainer to pick up the poster. And, wow, another one from 1991. God, cra crazy, man, I'm telling you. But, yeah, it's an interesting poster, one that I was interested in checking out. So, yeah, I'm glad I own it, guys. Alright guys, the last poster of the three movie lot from eBay and that is the Apple Gates right here. This poster, it is the home video art poster as you can see right there from CBS Video right there as well. And I really like this movie guys. I, you know, if you have never checked this movie out, the Apple Gates, Give it a chance, guys. It's one of those really weird, bizarre comedies that I absolutely adore. I watched it when I was a kid, and it just kind of stuck with me all these years. Uh, Stocker Channing, Ed Begley Jr., Dabney Coleman. A uh, really great, interesting movie that I just, I don't know. It's, it's about this family that moves in, and there are a bunch of bugs in, like, human skin. And it's, it's like this weird out there comedy but I really enjoy it I don't know why it's just it's just one of those movies that stuck with me what can I tell you but I really like the art here man uh, I like the um the bug feet there um the bug arm uh, I love the the little antenna on top of everybody you got Dabney Coleman right there in the background also I, I yeah I really do enjoy this and when this was part of the lot I was like yeah man I'm picking this up I love this goddamn movie gotta own the poster and it's honestly in pretty good condition really there's there's maybe a little bit of scuff marks but for the most part out of all three of the posters this is probably the best condition of them all this is definitely a worthwhile movie I'm so glad to own this and I don't think this movie has come out on blu-ray yet it's got to come out on Blu-ray. Some company has got to release this, man. This is such a underrated movie. Got to be released at some point. Other people have got to discover this movie. So damn good, guys. Definitely worth it. And I'm happy to own the, the poster, guys. The Apple Gates. All right, guys. On to the next poster. And that is the 10th anniversary for Saw right here. In theaters for one week only. If it's Halloween, it must be Saw. And this is a re-release poster that they came out for the anniversary of the movie Saw. And I ended up actually picking this up at this horror garage sale that my friends and I went to. And it was supposed to be this big event sale, have cool action figures and figurines, all kinds of cool magazines and horror prints. And basically we went in there, guys, and the whole garage sale was terrible dude we were bored as shit it was barely anything there for sale we just were uh just shocked that there was so little to check out at this garage sale but i did end up finding a poster or two actually i found three posters from this one vendor that i thought was had some really cool theatrical posters this is another one of those theatrical prints that i got very, very cool poster. I am a big fan of Saw. I do really love, love this movie. I do really like the re-release poster here. I love the, the trap that's on Amanda's head. I really do like this movie a lot. I can't say that all of the Saw movies are really great. There's a lot that are kind of just ho-hum. But the first one is classic. And this is a really cool poster. Really cool art for that movie, guys. I really do enjoy it quite a bit. 
And again, this is the first of three that I picked up from one vendor. Let's check out the next poster that I picked up. And the next poster that's part of this three poster lot that I got from this vendor is none other than Species right here, guys. Our time is up. The theatrical poster right here. And honestly, this is actually in really good condition. There's there's a couple of tears here. There's like one here that's, that's a little, little bit of a tear right there. But other than that, not too bad of quality for this theatrical poster. And it's really cool that it's an original one. And I gotta admit, I really love the art here of the character here, um busting out of like the little goo there the her cocoon right there with like her alien like look that she's got very interesting and i gotta admit guys i've really always loved the movie it's it's one of those ones that's very 90s very 90s a lot of the the actors and the way the actors look and just sort of the the um the the way that the cgi is and just the setting for the movie just feels very 90s, but I always really love the premise to it. I always really love the cheesy quality of it, and I really do tend to like the acting here. I think N and Natasha Henstridge, I'm not going to lie, guys, she is super gorgeous and super hot in this movie. Um, having people like Alfred Molina in here, Ben Kingsley... Yeah, man, very, very interesting stuff here. I, I really love everybody in here. Michael Mathen is really cool here. Marge Helgenberger, really cool as well. I really always love this movie, and it's really cool to finally own this. I love the H.R. Giger design. Yeah, man, it's a really cool poster to finally own. I really like it a lot. Hopefully down the road I can find Species 2, and I can get that poster as well, which I would really love to pick up also. But this is a really cool poster, man. I'm glad I picked this one up. Not bad quality on this one either. Nothing says date movie like a 3D ride to hell. The third of the three poster lot here, my bloody Valentine 3D right here with this really awesome fucking poster, guys. I love this poster so goddamn much, man. Like the, the pickaxe like going right towards the guy's crotch right there. Very, very cool, man. This was sort of the pre-release poster for my bloody valentine as you can see the coming soon real d 3d right 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 there very cool kick-ass poster i love this this poster was like a must-have when i saw this poster in all of the lot of the posters he had this was the one i was like out of all of them this was the must own right here i love this this one and i really love the movie you know i can't say that i love a lot of remakes there's a lot of remakes out there that are just frankly trash guys, but the My Bloody Valentine remake is honestly one of the better ones to come out in a really long time. I really love it, and I thought the 3D was actually really cool. I thought they were one of the ones that did 3D really well, and I just really think the movie's really awesome here. I think the poster is fucking great, man, with the popcorn and the moviegoers and and the pickaxe and everything, just a really fantastic dynamic poster, one that I cannot wait to uh, get a frame for, and and hopefully one day put it up, because this is a really awesome kick-ass poster, man, this is one of, this, honestly, this is seriously one of my favorite posters that I now own, I really love this a lot, and this was a fantastic must-buy, and by the way, let me also say that all of the posters, the three ones that I picked up from this vendor, each of them were $10, so I got the My Bloody Valentine 3D for $10, the Species 1 for $10 as, as well, plus the Saw 1 for $10. Great deal on all three of them, really, really great, I just, man really wonderful fucking poster for a really pretty decent horror movie definitely check it out if you guys have not gotten the chance very cool movie and very cool poster and the next poster to show off guys jeff goldblum ed bagley jr transylvania six five thousand right here the theatrical art poster man right here this is completely original 
oh man, do I love this movie. I love sort of the art on this. I love the Jeff Goldblum art, the Ed Bagley art right here. You've got all kinds of like the creature's hands over like the tombstone and, and everything. Very, very cool here. I love that. Wanted. Two thrill-seeking reporters, brains optional, looking to dig up the story of the century for information called Transylvania 6, 5000. And, of course, you, you get all of these people that are in the movie. Great, man, people. Carol Kane, Gina Davis. Oh, man, so many great actors in this. I love this movie, guys. And I think Kino Lorber just announced that they were going to release this movie later this year. Oh man, this is a this will be a must buy when that comes out guys because I love this movie. This is one of the best sort of comedies from the 80s. I believe if I'm not mistaken 1985. Wow, man, crazy. And from New World Pictures also. They they did a lot of really wonderful stuff in the 80s also. This is a great horror comedy. It reminds me of a lot of a spoof on like all the universal horror monsters. I really love this a lot and I'm a huge fan of Jeff Goldblum. Anytime anybody talks about Jeff Goldblum, of course you got to talk about The Fly and Jurassic Park and you know all those wonderful movies they did. Add Transylvania 65000 to this list. So awesome. I love this. I I picked this up from a guy on eBay. He was selling it. Um, for around, like, I believe 25 or 30 bucks, somewhere around there. I was really, really happy to pick this sucker up. Again, man, it's, it's, it's a theatrical print that was folded up, but it, it, I, I didn't care, man. It's, it's an original poster of a really great old school 80s comedy that just, I'm so glad to own this, man. And if you guys have not checked out Transylvania 65000, please do it. So good, guys. So, so damn good. And such a really fantastic poster to, to, to look at. I really love just checking out this poster. And, yeah, this will look good on the wall someday. Trust me. All right, guys. Last but certainly not least is the original theatrical poster for... Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 5, The Toymaker. This is actually one that I recently got over the Christmas holiday. I got this poster from Chris LaMartina. He is uh, the director of the WNUF Halloween special and Call Girl of Cthulhu. I'm friends with him on Facebook and... He's actually doing a, right now, a promotion trying to get the money to make the sequel to the WNUF Halloween special. And he ended up putting a post on Facebook saying, oh, if somebody contributes a certain amount of money, they'll also get this poster from my personal collection. And I was like, dude, I'm, I'm going and doing it right now. Number one, just to support the guy, because I really love that first ha Halloween special he did. And secondly, because this poster is, is all kinds of awesome. I love this poster. Uh, I love this. He's home, but he's not alone. I, I love this. This is actually the home video release poster right here. As you can see, another live home video release there from 1991, man. Another one from there. I love this poster. You have all the evil lo lo looking toys right there. Oh, so good. I love the evil looking toys right there. All of the evil stuffed animals with the eyes. Oh, so, so good, guys. I, I, I love that. I love this poster. Maybe the movie is not like this. Maybe the movie is, is like, worse than the poster. But isn't that kind of the great thing about poster art? Like, you, you look at poster art and you're like, oh, my God, man, the poster is really great. And then you watch the movie and you're like, ooh, yeah, not as good as the poster art. And that, that, that happened all the time when you would go to, like, home video stores or anything, and you would get fooled by, like, poster art or, like, the box art, and you'd be like, hey, I'm going to rent this. And then you're like, jeez, what the hell was I, I thinking? I love the fact that I now have this in the collection, man, of posters. It's really just a so great of a, a poster. And honestly, 
I've only watched probably like three or four of the Silent Night, Deadly Night films. This is one I have not, but I definitely got to check it out at some point, guys. The artwork is just so good, I can't not check the movie out. But I love all of the, of the Silent Night movies that I've watched to a certain extent. But the great thing about it, even though the movies are, they differ in quality from time to time, the great thing is that the artwork for these m movies was always fantastic. And this is one of them that just looks so kick-ass and, and wonderful. I really love this a lot, man. This poster was great, and I really thank Chris a lot for sending this poster out to me. This is the latest and greatest poster that I picked up, guys. And as I said, I love all of my posters, and I love the fact that most of them are original pieces. And the fact that I've gotten them for a low price, which is really fantastic as well. Um, I will continue buying, buying poster art because it's some of the best art that I love to own. I just love that the artists take the time and effort to put these great posters out there. And I love just owning them and celebrating them. They're really, really awesome, guys. Oh man, okay, that does it for the video showing off all of my posters that I own, guys. Oh my god, man. I own a lot of posters, but very well worth it, guys. I love all of the posters that I own. They're so really great. I love all the effort that the artists take into making this stuff. And I just appreciate movie posters so much. They're some of the best stuff I own. I love them so damn much. Definitely let me know what you guys own as far as movie posters are concerned. And I'm always trying to pick up more movie posters, but I think the problem that I run into a lot with these movie theaters now with posters is the fact that they don't give anything away anymore. I've went to so many places and I said, hey, uh, I'm interested in this poster, or hey, I'm interested in that poster. And all the time, all I hear is, we don't give them away. We throw them out. We rip them up. We tear them. We, th we put them in the garbage. And I just, I look at them like, are you kidding me? No! Get out of here! Like, I, I literally, I can't believe they destroy this stuff. This is art. This is people's hard work. And just because a movie leaves theaters doesn't mean that you should just throw it out. If somebody wants to give it to them, you know, please, you know, let, let the legacy continue for these movies through the art, through people owning the stuff. I hope that that changes over time and maybe at other places you guys have dealt with people who will give you the posters. But for the most part, for me, I've dealt with a lot of frustration, guys, and uh, I usually have to get a lot of my posters through other vendors, through eBay, through other people like that, which I'm happy to do. But sometimes you just want that poster that you see um, when you go to your local theater, and sometimes that gets a lot tougher than you can possibly imagine. But overall, I'm very happy with everything that I own, guys. It's really amazing, everything I have. And one of these days, I got to frame them and put them on the walls. I know, I got to do it, but eventually one day I will do it. I promise, I will at some point. I just don't know when. A lot of time and money is going to go into putting all these in frames. So slowly but surely, it will happen sometime down the road, guys. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up. Again, let me know what posters you own. Did you like what I had? And what are your thoughts on posters? Should they be preserved? Should theaters definitely give you the stuff that you want if you're asking nicely for it? Definitely let me know, guys. And keep up to date with everything I'm doing through Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Film Fan went away. Keep up to date with everything I post, plus so much more content as well. Keep up to date with it. And if you are new to the channel and you are interested in more of the videos, then check out the Blu-ray and DVD Tuesday videos I do, the theatrical movie reviews I do with my friends when they're not sick uh, every single week, plus so much more content on the channel. Become a part of the Film Fan Nation. I love movies. I love talking about movies. As you can see from the video, guys, it's always a pleasure talking with you guys and the passion I get right back from all of you guys. So if you love the videos and you love the channel, hit subscribe and be a part of the Film Fan Nation. All right, guys, I will see you back next time for a brand new video. Take care, guys, and buy some movie posters because they're pretty damn cool, guys. All right, take care.